सो परफॉर्मेंस मैनेजमेंट एक तो हमने ये डिस्कस किया था कि परफॉर्मेंस मैनेजमेंट आपको इसलिए करनी है कि आपने लोगों की परफॉर्मेंस को सब्सिडरी की परफॉर्मेंस को और ग्लोबल परफॉर्मेंस को वैल्यूएट करना है और इम्प्रूव करना है लेकिन परफॉर्मेंस मैनेजमेंट एक और बाय uh, प्रोडक्ट uh, भी उसका जो आपको प्रोवाइड करती है और वो ये है कि इट इज़ ए मेकनिज़म ऑफ कंट्रोल फॉर योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो इट इज़ थ्रू परफॉर्मेंस मैनेजमेंट दैट दिस इज़ द वे हाउ पीपल आर परफॉर्म आर सपोज टू परफॉर्म इन दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बोथ इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर रोल्स एज वेल एज देयर बिहेवियर्स दैट सेट्स ए स्टेज फॉर ए मल्टी नेशनल कंट्रोल सिस्टम सो थ्रू योर परफॉर्मेंस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम यू कैन कंट्रोल हाउ योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज गोइंग टू बी शेप्ड अप इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट्स कल्चर एज वेल एज इन टर्म्स ऑफ द बिहेवियर्स दैट पीपल एग्जिबिट एंड द परफॉर्मेंस स्टैंडर्ड्स दैट दे आर दैट दे मीट इन योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो परफॉर्मेंस टारगेट्स आर ए पार्ट ऑफ फॉर्मल कंट्रोल वैन यू गिव अ पर्सन ए परफॉर्मेंस टारगेट दैट यू आर सपोज टू मीट दिस ऑब्जेक्टिव इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइम फ्रेम इट मीन्स दैट इट इज़ ए पार्ट ऑफ फॉर्मल कंट्रोल यू आर कंट्रोलिंग दैट बिहेवियर you are controlling that person for that particular behavior for that particular period of time that he will be showing that behavior and if he does not show that behavior for that particular period of time that person will face the consequences of not submitting to the control system so this contributes to shaping corporate culture both formally and informally so performance management system it uh, it is an informal control mechanism as well as it is a bureaucratic control system so because of the performance criteria and the uh, process of measurement the process of performance appraisal then uh, leading to these performance uh, uh, these uh, performance appraisals they lead to outcomes such as uh, promotions bonuses pay raises that makes it a system of control which is a bureaucratic control system but it is also an informal control system that it uh, it controls the behavior of people in a certain way if you ask the person to work 9 to 5 that means that it also limits the behavior of that person that that person cannot do anything else 9 to 5 that person is supposed to work on his job and his role and that also serves as an inform informal control mechanisms uh, so employees they are rewarded for showing appropriate and desired behaviors so you set out the appropriate and desired behaviors you write it down in their job descriptions you uh, point it out to them through their supervisors and managers that this is how you are supposed to behave and employees they are then rewarded for showing these appropriate and desired behaviors thereby acting as a form of normative control normative control it means that control which sets out what you are supposed to do so when you are doing things which you are supposed to do you are actually submitting to a normative control system and therefore this performance management system it acts as a normative control system by telling them what type of behavior is um, needs to be exhibited so by adopting performance management approach multinational can draw on several human resource management activities to realize performance goals that are set during performance appraisal processes so um, uh, if, unless you do not follow a performance management approach you cannot uh, you cannot utilize and employ other human resource processes for example you cannot determine what type of training and development needs are there you cannot relate compensation you cannot devise compensation processes packages properly you cannot uh, uh, you cannot decide what type of people need to be selected and recruited in the organization according to the performance standards that are already been achieved in the organization so performance management system that is the basis of all other human resource management activities which if not done properly if you do not conduct a performance appraisal properly 
all the rest of the systems if they are going to be disturbed because of this inappropriate process so the a strong goal setting and appraisal are key elements of this system you need to have a you need to set strong goals ya aap goal setting theory mein bhi aapne padha hoga ke goals have to be set in order to motivate people to work and these goals they must be difficult and challenging yet they should be achievable in the given time uh, so difficult and challenging goals and then appraisal system of performance against those goals they are the key element of this control system ye waise to performance ka ko ensure karte hi hain they ensure current performance and they ensure improve performance but they also serve as a system of control over your employees and their behaviors so you can see that uh, the organization it conducts formal and informal control activities which focuses on standardization of practices so you standardize practices this is how you are going to perform and behave in your organization that is a standard so you are going to dress in a particular way you are going to come in a particular timings 9 to 5 or 8 to 4 or in a particular set of timings which is going to be standardized by the organization you are supposed to behave in a proper way in a behave in a standardized way and that leads to socialization and compliance to norms and values so these standardized systems they then create systems of socialization which then leads to creation of norms and values which then makes up the organizational culture and that leads to global mix of strategic outcomes and results which are results of multinational headquarters as well as results of the subsidiary so this formal and informal control activities which include performance management that leads to standardization of work behaviors and practices which then leads to achieving strategic outcomes and results both for the mne as well as for the subsidiary so this is how the performance management system serves as a system of control for the multinational organization